Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Okay, today we've got a Mini Cooper, as you can see behind me, and I'm gonna show you how to reset the tire light. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, this is a Mini Cooper on a 2011, but this applies, guys, right away from 08, I believe, all the way to sort of 14, 15. You reset the tire in the same way. Now, if you've got the warning on your dashboard, which I'll show you in a second, what you wanna do first is go around with your pump and check each tire, okay? The tire lights probably come on because one of them has just lost a bit of pressure. Now, it could just be through age or you might have picked up a slow puncture, all right? Now, the only way to find out is to do that first. So, I'll put the camera up now. I'll get our pump. Lucky enough, obviously, at the garage, we've got a, an airline. We can use the pump. It's dead easy. But if you haven't got that, you can buy a pump kit online, pick them up really cheap, um, and they're really easy to use, okay? So, let's get into it. Right, okay, so it's second pressures. You need to undo the little dust cap on the front of the wheel, on the tire. Just remove that, put the uh, airline on, and we'll check the pressure. Okay, now that one there was on the PSI, okay, of 28. Now, I like the tires all to be on 30 so i've just put that one up to 30 now so what i've got to do now is go around the other three and make sure that they're all on the same before we get into the car to reset the light okay right okay so all the tires now are all on the same pressure so we go into the car now and this is where we actually begin to reset it on the dash so what will come up on your dash is just turn that off okay when you start the car you'll be presented with the tire pressure light so obviously this one says service and there it is that's your tire light that's what we're going to reset okay guys when you're inside key in the slot clutch down okay and start the car then we'll start going through the menu with your BC button. Okay, so check info, service, reset. Hold that one in. Again, push the BC button in and you'll see the little tick come up and that now should be reset. Okay, so as we scroll back to home, hold that in, out we go. Now, if we turn the car off again, take the key out, and then we'll start it up again from fresh. Hopefully, the tire light should go out. There we go, no tire light guys, straight to your fuel light. That's how you do it. Now obviously on this one, you did see then the service light come up. We'll get it into the workshop now, give it a service, and you go through the same procedure on how to set that as well. There you go, there's a bonus tip. Right, as always guys, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.